and why not start a new vlog what's up guys welcome to another video in the journey began with Eva YouTube series if you're seeing me for the first time hello my name is Eva please do consider joining us by subscribing I promise you that you're going to love it in here <music> video of uh, the title you want us to settle on because it's about time that we get ourselves a name for this journey began with Eva YouTube army so I suggested the title champions for you guys you did leave comments in the previous video so I'm back again with the same issue if you would like us to stick with champions it's all good if you have other suggestions bring them on feel free Leave them in the comment section. As I said, whatever you're going to propose, that's what we are going to settle on. So uh -huh. let's talk about this global fuel shortage crisis that is going on around the world. Because I understand that it is a global problem. It is not only in my country, Kenya. For those of you who are new to this channel, I currently reside in Kenya, which is a country found in the eastern part of Africa. So I've been moving around town and seeing people moving around with jerry cans in search of fuel. And the situation seems not to improve. Actually, it seems to get worse day after day you can see so many cars queuing at petrol stations waiting to be fueled and after some minutes you'll, you'll hear like fuel is finished wait for the next tanker to come and bring fuel people have been suffering people have been postponing their daily activities simply because there is no enough fuel in the country because of this russia ukraine war that is going on if you think that it has only affected the people in the urban areas i came one-on-one -on -one with the consequences of fuel shortage deep in the rural areas last week over the weekend i went to visit my grandma guys and what i witnessed guys was really shocking I went boarded a public means of transport and the number of people who boarded that vehicle guys we are like double the number of the people it's supposed to carry which is wrong and the driver the contractor seemed not to worry actually if they could gauge more space and still manage to squeeze more people they would have done it and thinking that they have uh, carried a lot of people and we would pay a lot of money or they will at least give us a discount they still charge us an extra amount blaming it on the uh, fuel shortage thing and I was really concerned because seem guys some things is just pure greed I consider that as pure greed because honestly you overload the vehicle and you still overcharge the customers you don't even care actually i remember offering him some extra cash to at least take me to where i was going because i had some luggage with me but he was like no you can see that there's no fuel we are trying to save the little that we have because he was rushing to go back and overload the same vehicle again overcharge the customers again you know pure greed leave a comment below tell us how this fuel shortage confusion has affected you as an individual as an organization as a family how has it affected you as a person because where i am currently i think that if things continue this way soon we are going to become 
a working nation because when there is no fuel it means that vehicles can't move so soon or later if things continue this way we are going to become a working nation you know everybody is feeling the pinch we can no longer pretend that everything is okay it is not okay and unless this russia ukraine war comes to an end you're going to continue suffering simply because fuel is expensive that is why we are paying a lot of money for goods that we used to pay some little amount for something like tissue paper you know that big family tissue roll that used to cost 100 kenya shillings here in kenya right now is costing 123 kenya shillings even 125 or even 130 in some retail shops what does that tell you guys we are headed to even tougher times ahead of us honestly if this russia ukraine war doesn't end then i don't know what will happen something has to be done there has to be a solution to this problem because if fuel prices increase that means that everything else escalates in price it's clearly evident by the prices of goods and services when you walk into supermarkets when you walk into restaurants things have escalated in price simply because fuel is scarce my scalp is so dry and i'm oiling it with this miyagi bagamot or pomade hi i call it miyagi i don't need to stress myself with these long tactical names i love miyagi because of the smell and i've had good stories about miyagi so i usually do not oil my scalp but now that my scalp is so itchy i have no choice but to oil it i feel that the person who worked on my hair did justice she did an amazing job amazing job but I also purchased some good cash I paid some good cash for this hair well I'm not I'm not complaining because I can see the value for the money because don't you like this hair guys I really love it let me try to part it so that you can see what I'm talking about This is what I'm talking about. Baby girl be looking hot, be looking fine, you know? She did a good job. <sighs> Done with that, now let's try massaging the, the scalp. Gently, gently, gently. Ow. Don't be a girl. Yes, I feel good. Honestly, guys, I don't know what is happening in other countries. If you're not Kenyan, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Are you experiencing the same thing? as we Kenyans are experiencing back here in our country, a sudden increase in uh, prices of foodstuffs, basic essentials which we normally use on our daily lives. Things have become so expensive, guys, to an extent that if you still have some cash somewhere, because we envision that times are gonna be tougher in the days uh, coming, you better start stock, stocking up. I'm not uh, scaring you guys to start panic shopping or what. 
but considering whatever is happening right now and this ukraine russia stuff going on right now seems that things are not going to change anytime soon so if you still have some cash lying somewhere this is a time to go and show for some things which do not do not uh go bad like um hard foods like spaghetti with flour you you go shop for cooking oil you shop for things like uh, tissue paper i pity the people who have big families because i do not know how people are really surviving this hard economic times times are tough or times are tough you should be grateful if you can still manage to take good care of your family of your loved one if you still have a stable source of income that is one thing you should not take for granted it's a reason you should be waking up and thanking god not once not not twice because currently people are going through hell people are suffering and things seem not to be changing anytime soon because every now and then prices just keep on escalating